The Brothers' fleet, gathered and ready. That horn came from Elmenham. Valdis must have got to them. I was tired of it gathering dust. Our ships are served. Favor! Word of your actions in Favor has spread like wildfire. Men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. Theodward's Reeve is with us. His men will be here soon. More than his, the Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he's not here to see it. Forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I am. Our target is Burr Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in... We'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruit's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Eivor. Oswald was a man who did not hesitate when you sought him for favors. A man who was fair and strong. A man who gave his life for his kingdom. Honor him today. Honor his memory and fight with the same extra courage he showed. For Oswald! Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruit's clan once and for all. Remember the dream I spoke of? You sailed through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams. Life. It may be they are one and the same. Tonight I ride the flaming sea steed, rushing for the spear din. A watcher alight on water's wake, another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves, ruined shit stains will see us coming.
Anglia depends on it. 
restrains my blade. Not till I've taken all these shores have to offer. East Anglia will have its king, and it will not be you. That groveling worm in a cage. You must be blind to stand with such a man. For all your efforts, only the cold dark of Niflheim awaits you. Valhalla is my guest. That king will not be met today. Why does a Dane fight two men for a Saxon? This Saxon of all! He has an This land is rife with weakness. And you are just another blighted dot upon it. Nothing a little fire cannot burn. He has an abundance that which you do not. He's fit to rule, fit to lead. You are not but a murderous plunderer. Dane, if 
waited for a sense of king. The Sagas will scorn! Thank you. You'd throw in with these wastrels? These Argir swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands, to rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? The rightful king of East Anglia has spared your life today, and so it will be. Compassion is a virtue suited for anyone, Eivor. Including you. Thank you. I should speak with Oswald. See if he is well. Fight well, heathen. Not bad yourself, Saxon. <laughs> we did it! I can't believe we did it! And Oswald yet lives. God is truly merciful. Thank you for heeding me, Eivor. I know the worth of such a gesture. All this is... is like a dream. But you are not asleep. Well fought, well fought, the both of you! You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. Our wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. But some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Finir, are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. Oswald's wedding will soon begin. Preparations in full bloom. Hello and welcome. 
This could help you in your travels. Wise of you to stock up. An excellent purchase. Nothing else? I'll see you later, friend. What can I get for you? Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. Finish looking around. I'm off. Be well, friend. Thank you. May this feast set a spirited tone for East Anglia's future. Eivor! I'm so glad you've made it. I'd just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife, and as man and wife, I name you... Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia, with his Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, Stuart. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. You ordered me to see it through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? 
Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Eivor! Care for a challenge? Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my pots. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothier. My arrow's shadow would have a target they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. Keep your eyes open long enough to witness me, you drunken lout. She stormed Bull's castle, brought Ruit to his knees, and let Oswald hold him for trial. I could hardly believe my ears either. Yes, that's it! As with everything, an easy task for the wolf kissed. Ah, oh, barely a challenge. Impressive. Impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. Skull, Ivor! Let's have a drink. Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king. A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories. And the new king of East Anglia. May his reign be long and good. Not bad, Wolf Kiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I will drink you under the table. <laughs> Confident, are you? Let us see how you fare against the ale beast of East Anglia. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you? I accept. Yes, to than me. You drink as well as Valdis. Now that I would pay to see. Speaking of payment, where is my silver? Here. Well earned, Wolf Kissed. Look there! Pillar on the roof! The road? The boar represents fertility. Did you know that? Estos Freyr, what's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, 
your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they're aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Be plain about it, Stiff Spear. You want to lay with me, is that it? That I do. Will you follow me? To a place more comfortable? A good plow sword is a rare thing. Lead the way. or two in some skull song. <laughs> I'll remember that for all time, Eivor. I will too, brother. The sagas are never this good. This night remains glorious. These are the moves of Elmenhar. Sweet wine for a sweet swine. <laughs> Come join me. <laughs> the Saxon god wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look, the moon. It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again. And it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull or Hati, Chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. Don't you remember? Fire starter. <laughs> Come on, let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinny. You're very strong. You, you're very large. <laughs> Sorry for this, Eivor. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It has been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I am ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests. We've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. 
I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. To our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? Oswald, you would not have been my first choice as king, nor my second. I thought you weak, bendable, without resolve. But not all men are as they first appear. I came to see that Oswald's heart is amongst the largest I have ever known. He is sturdy, he has wisdom, he has courage. All qualities of a man worthy to be king. He is the king East Anglia deserves and the king you need. To the good king, Oswald! To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Steady all, and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all. My king. The sheep you left to guard me have been shorn. Oswald, king of sheep fuckers, show your eyes. I challenge you. I accept. No square, only sweat and blood. He may be wounded, but do not let your guard down. Let's settle this. I will bury you, Saxon. I'll take all that is yours. King show mercy to one so malevolent, so cruel. I'll not give you the satisfaction of a good death, for my god forbids such cruelty. Therefore, you are outcast. From this moment on, you have won. My life is yours. Your life is God's. <laughs> now go. Leave my kingdom, and never return! I do not understand this Saxon religion. Oswald is a coin. One side mercy, the other courage. There are few like him, I'll admit. Saxon or Dane. Such a strange display. Courage and restraint like I've never seen. With all that's happened, with all the chaos ruined ruled, still, Oswald found reason to spare him. It is a strange thing. A remarkable thing. From what inner spring does such kindness run? I'd like to know. With my duty here fulfilled, I now choose East Anglia. I fight for you, my king. Prize, old friend. You're embarrassing me. Be well, Finir. Your choice is a bold one. You continue to surprise Oswald of Elmenholm. Thank you, Eivor. When we first met, I made an oath. I promised you an alliance. You did. You'll have it, so long as I draw breath. Till next time, King.
Sometimes the wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. Birna, welcome to the Raven Clan's nest. Good to be here, Sumbi. The people here seem a mixed bag of nuts and seeds. I feel right at home. You are at home. Settle in and get a feel for the place. We'll be heading out soon enough. Of course. A quick drink and a friendly brawl, and I will be ready for the raids ahead. I have to go. Then go in peace. Seen anything interesting while on your travels? Holger, why all this shouting? You're a good boy. A message has come. Randvi, I demand that this matter be settled here and now. Have patience, Rowan. There is a time and a place for such disputes. Eivor! Thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Rob disappointed word? Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A filly? What? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I'll hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing? Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir and how right I was. For when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. 
Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom. To make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan? As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer. To make a perfect brush, I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafur's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Holger, Rowan is clearly in the right. You sheared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail! Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man, and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We are done here. Return to your homes in peace. After all, in some ways, you helped in its creation. Absolutely not. Silver is the only color I wish to see from you. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger... He is quite the character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He has no care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Some interesting news. King Cheolvulv has sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Sven passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. I want to see the Alliance map.
What about Senefordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. Randvi, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grandebridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Randy, take a break. Let's make for Grandebridge Shire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not? Stretch your legs and fill your lungs. I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the long shift today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We'll need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandebridgeshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but yeah. I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen, and hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Go. 
gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Grandebridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. Here we are. Welcome to Grandebridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here, too. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Ranvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Ranvi. Eivor seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodre. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have been kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said. East of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Ranvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from your table for a day, and already you're lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf-kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There, the bandit camp. All right, stay close and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. You seemed hot for a battle, so here we go.
Now to deliver Magni his horse. That was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink. Here! To celebrate our victory. At home, Tegla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse, and if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods he is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Ranvi, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Eivor! Over here! Look at this! Someone is thirsty. Are you determined to get drunk? I am determined to get you drunk. Come on. Scared I will outpace you. To be honest, a little. What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right, let us drink. Beautiful. You should not have tried to outdrink me, Ranvi. It cannot be done. Hmm. Strange. I see your lips moving so rapidly, yet all I hear is, Thank you, Ranvi. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ugh, <sighs> Ranvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Andy. Return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you. For everything. Oh no, no, thank you. Safe travels.
I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Ranvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Suniva described this tower for me, a desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskona as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randy. If you must. Look there. That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Suniva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. <laughs> you climb well for one who falls maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are callous from hard work. Look at this. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower and furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing, I was a wildling of the open air before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior, a Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd, to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... ...and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... 
I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is... comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Ranvi? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. I don't know how to draw without your hand to guide me. Tove. Eivor, it's Sven. He... he passed while I was away. Tove, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was in his bed, sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so empty. Not like in our stories. When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they're ready. Sven wasn't ready, and I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work, as if nothing happened, because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. 
But you are so strong and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me, or worse. This was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know that you're valued. Ranvi, you left so suddenly. There is work to be done. There always is. I see. But do not think for a moment that I have forgotten you and our wonderful day. Nor would I wish you to. Good. Then we see eye to eye. And heart to heart. Yes, indeed. Until our next moment alone, we should return to our great work. England will not pacify itself on our behalf. No, indeed. Back to work, then. I should go. Ah, I was just thinking about you. I should go. Let's talk again soon. You and Petra chasing a white elf. I have something. You've done great work, Abel. I'll see you. Until next time.